Three perfumes that are fantastic for the fall slash Halloween season. A week ago, we did a video that was all about tricks. Now we're focusing on treats. These are three sweet fragrances that are geared towards the autumn weather. And all of these are great to put you in that Halloween spirit or frame of mind. So in today's Cephalobon contributor video, I'm gonna be sharing this co-curated list between myself and Michelin Kamen with you. I'm also gonna let you in on a very special giveaway opportunity, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on these three treat fragrances, these are sweeter perfumes and you'll see exactly what I mean as I reveal them to you one by one. But before I dive into the video, I do wanna mention that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, and of course, if you love smelling your best, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It would really, really mean a lot to me. So there is a giveaway, and so the only thing you have to do if you plan on entering the giveaway is just visit cephalobon.com. It's gonna be the first link down below in the description box. I'm gonna make it really easy for you. After you become a registered reader, just drop a comment on the article. It's a really simple process. And then of course, make sure to check back on over to cephalobon.com on the date that's mentioned in the article because that's when the winner is gonna be announced, right? You're not gonna get an email, you're not gonna get a text message. You have to check the website to see if you're the lucky winner. So best of luck, everybody. I know a lot of people in the past have claimed their prizes and they're very happy. So that makes me very happy as well. And we do love giving back whenever possible, which is basically every single week, right? So let's go ahead and start things off with this co-curated list. In the number three spot, we have Prada Candy. Now, this is a favorite of mine. I purchased this a long, long time ago. And this has this sugary caramel vibe. Now, this is a beautiful fragrance. I know it's been around for a long time. This is quite the deviation for the house of Prada. I know they utilize the note of iris quite often in their fragrances. So a lot of them tend to be on the soapy, clean side of things, especially when we're talking about the, the infusion line, right? If we're talking about infusion dumb, diris cedra, Infusion de Vetiver, Infusion de Mande, all of them are very clean, soapy. So Prada Candy is a sweeter fragrance. So this came as a bit of a surprise to me, but as soon as I tried it and I tried all of the subsequent flankers as well, it's a fantastic fragrance. And I personally really, really love it. And I think in many ways it was a stepping stone for a lot of the perfumes that succeeded it. So here's the interesting thing about this one. Of course, if you're thinking about Halloween, you're thinking about treats or candy. So Prada Candy initially came to mind and um, it's not gonna be as sweet as something like an Aqualina's Pink Sugar, even though that one you know, could be a perfume to be worn or enjoyed right around this time of the year. Prada Candy conveys a certain sense of sophistication about it that I really enjoy. So please, if you haven't tried this one, please do. This is an awesome perfume. I don't even know why I just hit it like that. I thought it would be cool. The next perfume, so this one is a bit more dressed up. It's a bit more sophisticated. And let me be honest with you, I love this one. Uh, this one is sweet. It is woodsy. It has a floral tonality in the heart as well. But the preponderance of the sweet ingredients really put this in more of a gourmand categorization, if you will. This one by Raja Parfum is called Sweetie Oud. Now, I'm sure you've heard the narrative about this one. This perfume has a macaron accord. So it does kind of open up in this very sweet, creamy, buttery, butyric, delightful manner. And this is a very, very long lasting perfume, which is something that can be said about a lot of Roja Dove's compositions. I think he utilizes some really good fixatives and he structures his perfumes in such a way where they're resolute. They give you really, really good longevity. And Sweetie Oud is no exception to that. This is a phenomenal perfume. I couldn't recommend this one enough. And I'm just very happy with this. I'm, I'm glad that I picked it up uh, many, many years ago when I did. And this is one that I initially tried in stores. I fell in love with it. Of course, there's also Candy Oud. And, you know, he has a lot of other sweet leaning perfumes. Sweetie Oud is really the one that I think captured the audience's attention with its use of this fantasy ingredient, which is this Macaron Accord. And it's really, really cool. Now in the number one spot, and of course, given the giveaway that is attached to this video, please check this out if you haven't already done so, I'm sure. If you're watching this video, you've tried this one before, you've either sampled it, whether you purchased a sample or you tried it in person or whatever the case may be, this is a beautiful, beautiful gourmand perfume. It's a co-creation between 
Hamid Merati Kashani, who has done Leighton and Pegasus Exclusive and many other beautiful perfumes from the house of Parfum de Marly, and also Natalie Lorson, who has worked on Ancre Noir by Lalique, and she's done a lot of other really wonderful perfumes. And of course, with that co-curation being revealed and the cat being taken out of the proverbial bag, I think a lot of you already know what this one is, and it is such a beauty. There's caramel, there's orange blossom, there's also this marshmallow accord, and now you really should know what it is. By Parfum de Marly, it's none other than Oriana. Now this one is marketed for the women, and of course we're talking about sweets. This has a delightfully sweet, olfactive profile. You're not gonna find that with a lot of other Parfum de Marly fragrances on the women's side. Yes, there is a lot of Madagascan vanilla in Delina Exclusive, but it never, ever, ever reaches the level of sweetness that this one possesses. And I know you probably can't tell, but here's the level of the liquid in my bottle. Um, I've worn quite a bit of this, and yes, I actually do love the way that it smells. It's a very warm, cozy, enveloping type of a perfume, and if you're thinking of an autumn perfume, this one really seals the deal. It does such an amazing job. Performance is nuclear. It's just an amazing perfume, all things considered. So I would like to hear from you. What are your sweet types of perfumes that you think are appropriate for the fall season. Given the whole Halloween theme that we're going after, I would love to hear from you. And I always love the interaction, so drop your comment down below. And once again, I do wanna say, if you took anything of value from today's episode, would really appreciate it if you would consider supporting the channel by clicking subscribe, hitting the bell, and giving this video a thumbs up. And again, don't forget, enter the giveaway. You have the chance to win a bottle. Please don't miss this opportunity. I think it would be really awesome if you won. So thanks again for watching. I love you all, and we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.